What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. Continuing on in my series of Lego reviews, today I'm taking a look at the Lego Ninjago movie. So the Lego Ninjago movie was released in 2017, the same year as the Lego movie. This film had three directors to it. The most prominent of the three being Charlie Bean, who later went on to direct the Lady and the Tramp remake on Disney+. The Lego Ninjago movie was released in theaters to mixed reviews, and this film made less money than the Lego movie and the Lego Batman film, and this was seen as kind of the first commercial disappointment of a Lego film. And the Lego Batman didn't make near as much either, but Lego Ninjago made even less money than what the Lego Batman did. This is the first time I've seen Lego Ninjago since its theatrical run, so what did I think of seeing Lego Ninjago again? Let's find out together. So in the battle for Ninjago City, Lloyd, high school student by day and Green Ninja by night, gets thrown into the ultimate adventure with his secret ninja warrior friends. Led by the wise and wisecracking Master Wu, they must defeat evil warlord Garmadon, the worst guy ever, who also happens to be Lloyd's dad. On their courageous journey, they learn to band together to unleash their inner power in an epic showdown to save the city. And this movie stars the voice talents of Dave Franco, Justin Faro. Fred Armisen, Abby Jacobson, Olivia Munn, Kumal Nanjiani, Michael Pena, Zach Woods, and Jackie Chan. So when I first saw Lego Ninjago back in 2017, even when I first saw it, I knew it would be my least favorite of the Lego films. Part of that is I have no nostalgia connection for like the Lego Ninjago toys or any of the other Lego Ninjago stuff. I was a big fan of Lego Batman, and part of the reason why that movie did so well was because I already loved the character, and that movie was an epic love letter to the Batman lore, and it did the character very, very well. So, my lack of knowledge in Ninjago was part of, the, I guess, part of the reason why I'm not as big a fan of Lego Ninjago, but there have been other movies of different properties. There's been, you know, full-on movies with these characters where even if I hadn't seen any previous existing stuff like shows or anything like that, I would still enjoy them. Like the recent Phineas and Ferb movie, for instance, on Disney+. Plus. I haven't watched that many episodes of Phineas and Ferb, but I still like the movie. It was still a pretty solid movie that, you know, you don't have to watch the show to get into the Phineas and Ferb film. I feel like with Lego and Jago, even the, the both times I've seen the film, I don't hate this movie. There's actually a lot of cool stuff about it, but it's definitely not as impactful. It doesn't have the same heart or charm that the previous Lego films have, especially Lego Batman, which did a good job of doing a spin-off film while still do, doing a great service to the character. Uh, Lego Ninjago just felt like it took some of the best elements and made them not as good. I mean, even the heart of Lego Ninjago is about a boy trying to reconcile with his dad. Uh, I mean, the Lego movie did that better in the live action segment of the film. It's the sweetest moment of this movie, but it just doesn't work as well because when it doesn't have the same charm. Also, both times I've watched the Lego Ninjago movie, there's a few other aspects of this film that disappointed me. While the animation is still pretty good in this film, they're cheapening it up, it seemed like, with each Lego movie. What I loved in the Lego movie was it seemed like everything was made out of Legos. Even, like, natural elements like water and fire was all Legos here, but... In this movie, they had like animated water, animated fire, animated smoke, and all that stuff. And it just seemed like in this movie especially, they just kept cheapening the Lego effects that made the original Lego movie a very visually dazzling experience. The way it would mix the Legos and CGI, a little bit of stop motion in there. The first Lego movie is still the best looking of the Lego films. and. 
it had this very cool charm to it. And here, while there's good stuff still, what they do with these Lego characters, it just feels a little cheap in my opinion. Also, the characters feel very hollow. Like, Lloyd and his dad works pretty well, and I also liked the Master Wu character voiced by Jackie Chan. I thought he was a great addition to this movie. I enjoyed him as more of a mentor figure. But a lot of the other Ninjago characters, like, do know little to nothing about them except the powers that they do have. And they're just throwaway characters and a lot of actors are wasted in their roles. Like you got Kamal Nanjiani and you got Michael Pena voicing some of these characters and they hardly do anything in their roles because of how one dimensional and throwaway they are. And that's a shame because you got some talented actors and the movie does very little with them. I will say uh, some of the action scenes aren't bad. There's some fun like martial arts type action in here. Uh, Actually, it was cool as I come to find out, Jackie Chan actually filmed some martial arts stunts for the movie and they used his live action work and copied it into his animated character. So where it feels like even in Lego form, Jackie Chan is doing his own stunts some way, somehow. And that's pretty awesome because I love me some Jackie Chan. Speaking of Jackie Chan, I even enjoyed the live action segments in this film, which uh, you know, Jackie Chan talking to this kid and you know, helping build him up and slowly learn to teach him martial arts stuff. I thought that was a really cool live action scene. Also, some of the humor works, some of the humor doesn't work, but there's still some solid humor in there. I like some of the jokes that kind of poke fun of like samurai culture and martial arts films. It's, there's some cool stuff in there. My favorite joke actually, there's like an explosion that happens and they make fun of the Wilhelm scream sound effect that shows up in so many blockbuster films, like the Star Wars films especially, so that was an amazing joke. There's also this running gag involving a live action cat that shows up in the Lego universe, and that leads to some funny moments with the cat. They even name him Meowfra, reference to Mothra from the Godzilla films. I thought that was quite clever. So there's stuff that's enjoyable in the Lego Ninjago movie. I mean, even with some cheaper shortcuts, I mean, it's still well animated. Uh, I mean, the bond between Lloyd and his dad, considering how familiar it is in some of the other Lego films, it's still fine. It's probably the biggest heart the movie has. The movie does have some solid action in there, and it can be occasionally entertaining, but it does feel like the movie the studio cared the least about because they felt this would be the easiest film to cater to younger kids and sell them Ninjago toys. And I'd rather see a Lego film that had a lot more heart and care put into it and they cared more about the storytelling than anything else. And that's why I enjoy the other Lego films a lot more because they were a lot more creative and they were a lot more imaginative. While this is far from like the worst film I've ever seen. It's not an OG movie bad. There's still a lot of fun stuff in this film. It's still the weakest Lego film because it feels the most forced, it feels the most average, and it also feels the most basic and familiar. So because of that, my least favorite of the theatrical Lego films to date. And I am giving the Lego Ninjago movie a 3 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 58 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of the Lego Ninjago movie. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave a link in the description below for a playlist if you need to catch up on some of my other Lego reviews. I've also reviewed the Lego movie and the Lego Batman movie. I'll be reviewing Lego Movie 2 sometime on my channel. So if you're a Lego fan, click the link in the description below to see more. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of future videos. And if you've seen the Lego Ninjago movie, let me know down in the comments below. Would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Or were you mixed on it? Whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. 
Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!